Hi, I'm Matt Robinson, Vice President of Government Affairs for the Oklahoma Association of Realtors. And I'm Richard Phillips, your contract lobbyist. And welcome to this week's edition of the Capital Insider. Well, since we had the deadline a week ago, it was kind of a slow week this week. Uh, what's happening out there with regards to the governor and the House and the vetoes? Well, you know, this time of year, we always see these little skirmishes uh, pop up. Right. But I guess the governor actually vetoed 15 bills this week. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the House overrode one right. yesterday, and I think there's a little bit of friction. Right. Well, but normally that works right. itself out. Right, right. Uh, we don't anticipate the Senate over overriding. Right. But... She did sign the tax code. Right. Uh, there is a uh, personal income tax bill that has now been signed into law. It's based on uh, income generated uh, revenue to the state, a little trigger with regards to any kind of reduction in personal income tax. Uh, and that will be a benefit to the real estate industry and the realtors out there. Sure. So, to everybody and especially our members. And that, that's, right. so that's good news. That's right. Well, uh, with this slow week, though, we had plenty of time to visit with some of the authors of our other bills, especially, of course, the uh, Protect Property Rights uh, Act, uh, House Bill 2620. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. Well, we, we were able to meet with uh, our House author, which right. is uh, Representative Martin. Right. And the Senate author, which is Senator Tree. Right. Yep. And both of them will work crafting language, mm -hmm. so we should see some language coming out in the next few days. And of right. course, we only have uh, four or five weeks of session. That, that's right. right. So that's right. We've got to get this done. And so, uh, but I think both of them should have something by the first of next week. Yeah, that's right. And uh, the bill is in conference committee, so it's just a few uh, members of the Senate, a few members of the House getting together to agree to, to some language. And then that bill is going to be considered on the House and Senate floor, and it has to be passed up or down with that language in it that's not amendatory. So uh, we are looking forward to seeing that draft uh, as far as it represents the real estate industry. So uh, with that, I guess that's going to wrap it up for this week's edition of the Capital Insider, and we'll see you next week. We'll see you.